my, I don't know, we'll, we'll just do a three to one. We probably won't even use the second sheave on this. I don't think it's necessary, especially with the rope jack. I think it's such a good tool. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna, and we'll have this on like a little progress capture. So any progress we do make, like really the way I like to fell trees with ropes is pre-tension the rope we're safe to the point where I know the tree is just going to fall over once I make the cut. I don't want like all this extra pulling to occur after I've made the cut. That doesn't make sense. You know, you can preload your ropes and then they'll, they'll shrink after you uh, let off some weight. So go through here. Okay. Then Quite a bit. Have I done this right? Oh, yeah, there we go. I was looking for the dick and balls, and I finally found it. All right, okay. Um, now, we need to grab, I think, Sean should feel so blessed because I am using one of his things. Uh, load her all up. Now this carabiner is pretty wonky. So, just made sure that closed. And you always got to check, double check your shit, folks. Like, you know, don't just trust that it's working the way that it should. Because you most certainly will end up with mistakes and broken things. And I know that by experience. Should we, uh... Oh, yeah, so what we can do here make sure that this is correct because it's not. I'm just sitting here yanking. So, there we go. And I want to grab all that out first. Now watch this. Look, that's one from one side that I pulled. That's everything I got. Look, we can even lock this in so we know it's not going anywhere. A really cool tool. All right. <coughs> now, what we're going to do. Now, go pay attention to that pulley when I pull. Here, I'll come back over here and pull. Look, this is. See, I already gave it everything I have. See that? Now I'm just. I didn't even give it everything I have. Now, look at the tree. Watch the tree. That thing's going to. See it moving? All right, so our back weight is definitely still this way. And also our tree kind of leans that way as well. So we want to overcompensate just a little bit. And instead of sending it straight to this birdhouse up here, we're going to send it more like this post. And even if it follows exactly towards the post, it's still like a clear landing area. So we'll set our um, notch and then I'll have our, our man Dallin up there uh, kind of give me a little more tension and we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> You're gonna have to, I'd say, reset the system as far as you can right now, and then, yeah, you should have enough to pull it over. So, all like uh, our plan here will be like to definitely not cut our hinge off. We need to let the hinge do work. So once, if you know, we'll kind of just work our way to it. We're not gonna like. 
Uh oh, now we have a. Oh, she was bringing us some water or something. How sweet. Awesome. That's what we like to see. Uh, maybe some ice cream? Yeah, cool. It has been warm today. All right, so, um, anyways, let's, uh, let's send it. I like to do to line my cuts up is just stick my bar right boink lined up and then we pull her out and we keep her level and we go to the back side obviously you do this with a cut but now you got a perfect cut you know and the more steady you can learn the more muscle memory you can get with holding your saw you start doing this stuff blind, and that's when you can do production. Cut enough so we're at the point basically are we gonna have to like come over there and help you pull it just tell him to grab a handful we Gra uh, grab we a handful and just pull it over she's going yeah it is. grab it on the main line yeah it's pretty there much you go. ready to go there you go so yeah so yeah we don't want to cut too much more we want to let the hinge do its work just like that you know so Especially when it's cold, you want to leave more more than not. But as you can see, these were uh, really fiber, and you know we probably could have cut more. Here's where you know that you've cut like not enough. Is where see where it broke, right? It means that we could have probably gave it a little bit more just so the hinge actually did its work. But like where it's when you have like. And on a perfectly good day, especially, it might be a little cold today, which could account for why that just broke. But when you have like a perfectly good day and your hinge has been cut and you see like the whole back half of it is broken, that means you haven't cut enough and you haven't like actually found your hinge point. So, you know, and then also here, look. See how we're, we're pretty flat. This might be a millimeter or so underneath this one. Uh, but they're pretty straight. So that's, again, that saw trick. Pull it out, stick her in. You know, that's what she said. <laughs> 